Hey, what's up guys? I got here mystery puzzles from the cubicle. Let's see what I got this time. Alright, so I got here a $3 mystery puzzle and a $10 mystery puzzle. Alright, first a $3 mystery puzzle. And uh, let's see what it is. This is... Oh, what is this? This is what it looks like to be a Fisher cube, right? Yeah, this is how it turns. So, yeah, it's like a, it's pretty much like a three by three, just uh, a bit of a different. Uh, um, yeah, it's another shape mod cube. So uh, yeah, so pretty much. So this is what looks. This is what checkerboard pattern looks like. Uh, hang on a second, I didn't do that right. Uh, let's see here. Oh yeah, like this. And then, uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna... Wait. And then, like, uh, like this. Right. <laughs> like that, something like that. This is what your pattern looks like. Yeah, on a Fisher cube. So yeah, this is a Fisher cube. There you have it. And now a $10 mystery puzzle. Well, let's see what this one is. Um, Oh, this is uh, just a uh, Nicholas Rubik's Cube. So, uh, yeah. Just a regular Rubik's Cube. Regular Nicholas Rubik's Cube. Uh, pretty fast turning. Let's see what about the corner cutting. Pretty good corner cutting here. Yeah, pretty much that's what it is. Yep. Yeah, pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, so, um, Um, I'm not really a speed cuber, but uh, I can solve Rubik's Cube around minute 30-ish, somewhere around there. Anyway, so this is a, uh, just a stickerless, stickerless uh, Rubik's Cube. There you have it. There you go. And now on the $5 mystery puzzles. Alright, the first uh, $5 mystery puzzle is this. And what is this called anyways? <laughs> Uh, magic tower, or whatever this is, so let's see, um, alright, uh, yeah, I just forgot the instructions and how to solve it, <laughs> um, yeah. Chinese or or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that. Um, let's see what, so yeah, this is uh, yeah. Basically, this is how it works. It's kind of like that. Yeah. It's kind of like uh, one of those, uh, what, IV cubes or something, like uh, an IV cube, but this is a, uh, a pyramid, uh, like IV pyramid or something, sort of thing, that uh, kind of uh, similar to the one, like a uh, IV cube thing, but 
Yeah, it's, it's uh, like one of those puzzles uh, like that. So it's kind of similar to the ones in here, but this is a uh, pyramid. I mean, well, it is, this was this what it's called a, a magic tower. Let me know. Does it say any more instructions? It says here. The second level magic tower cube is a four axis magic cube. Yeah. That's that. Um, so yeah, uh, pretty interesting puzzle. Maybe in the future I'll make a video of me solving it. The next five dollar mystery puzzle is, uh, or, or is, or <laughs> the, uh, these ones. Uh, actually, uh, both are exactly the same. Um, yeah, so. This one is called, what is this called, a, a Geocube? Huh, I've heard of that, so, uh, <laughs> looks like a Geocube, so, uh, and, uh, what looks like to be, um, on the back it says, it looks like, has different Geocubes. Huh, yeah, I got this one. Um, anyways, uh, let's, uh, I'm just gonna put that one here because these ones are exactly the same. Um, provide that stand here, but <laughs> um, see how this how this one functions. Um, yes, yeah, so basically it's just a, a missing a lot of uh, supposedly a missing cubes or some a missing uh, stuff here. But let's see how it. Uh, uh, function so basically it's like something like that then it's like what oh wait let's do that the r2 whatever move <laughs> is it possible to do on this one like that sort of thing Like that. Something like that. So, um, yeah, this is just a. Yeah, this is a uh, GeoCube. So just missing uh, the other pieces that supposedly missing. Just just a ball in a cube. Or in, it's not even a cube, it's just a. Um, just uh, an L shape. Um, yeah, and it's like, I was like this, kind of thing, and I already kind of messed it up. <laughs> Someday in the future I'll show uh, me solving it. It's going to take me a little while for me to figure it out, um, how to get it solved, so, um, so yeah, but, um, this is a Geocube, um, this is the exact same one, Geocube. Alright, for the next three five dollar mystery puzzles, I thought I'd do from the same box, um, from, from the same boxes. So let's get to the first one. This is a an Ivy Cube, a stickerless Ivy Cube. Yeah, so this is just an Ivy Cube. Next one is this one, uh, whatever this puzzle is called. And they also provided instructions on how to solve it. Oh, it's called an X cube, and that is how it shows how to solve it. And yeah, now, this is in Chinese. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, so this is an X cube. So, um, this is kind of how it works.
but yeah, now I kind of scrambled it. <laughs> Pretty much, this is how it looks like. Yeah, so I kind of scrambled it, so um, um, I'll just do another video of me solving it. Anyways, um, I thought I'd show you what this puzzle looks like and how it functions. So there you go. This is an X cube. And now we got this puzzle here. Uh, let's see what this one is. This is a... Uh, Um, what is this as, uh, what puzzle, <laughs> what is this called anyways, does, does it, does it has a name on it, a, a cylinder cube, it's not even a cube, <laughs> it's a cylinder, and uh, also provides instructions, how to solve it, oh, this is Chinese side, <laughs> alright, so this is pretty much what it, lo it looks like, all of this, See how it functions. Just uh, the thing is that sometimes you can't really do the um, like on the cube. You can't really do the, the thing here to like when you're trying to solve it like this. And you want to try to do the thing over here, and you you can't really turn it. So you're gonna have to like turn it like this, <laughs> right? Um, that's kind of thing. So so like if, um, so like if you get to if you give this to some speed cuber, they they try to do that. This <laughs> they can't turn the thing, uh, like you know, or if they just do this, this, and now, now they can't do the thing. That's like, yeah, like that's one of those things when when you can't really do the thing over here. That's because it's a cylinder, and you can't really do the speed cube, and you actually have to do this, right? But yeah, this is a. Uh, that's kind of thing that uh, you can do the corner thing, um, but in some cases you can um, if you kind of like oh, mess it up or something. So let me actually try it out. So it kind of goes like this. So um, and you would have to kind of go like this, like that. Um, I think I just messed it up. <laughs> uh, yeah, I did. Or something like this. It works like this. But the thing is to this puzzle that it does not have like a solid colors on every side like a cube, but instead it's it's divided into sections. Um, of the, uh, the cube. I mean, it's just uh, divided into like, three different sections, and uh, there's only what? Is, there's only five colors on this thing. Let's see, um, blue, orange, yellow, and green. Well, what are we? What are we missing? Uh, red? There is no red. Only. <laughs> Only five colors in here. It pretty much solves like a normal three by three. It's just there's a little bit of a different, uh, different thing going on there when you're solving it. So uh, maybe in the future I'll show you how me solving. It. Uh, we'll see how that works. But yeah, I kind of messed it up. This is what it looks like messed up. Anyways, this is what it's called again. Uh, cylinder, cylinder cube. It's not even a cube. It's just a a cylinder or a barrel, whatever you want to call it. So, there you go. For the next uh, $5 mystery puzzles, I got here, what is this? I think it's a... Oh, what is this? Looks like a... Oh, it's a 2x2. Two two. It's just a... Pretty cool 2x2. Two two. Yeah, that's that. And now let's move on to this one here. 
I'm gonna just uh, open this bag. It's just a different design of a 3x3. I mean, I don't, I'm not really sure if there's a name to it, if it's a different name to it or something. Um, but uh, it's just a regular 3x3, just a different design. Um, so yeah, this is a uh, not just a different design of a 3x3 Rubik's Cube. The next $5 mystery puzzle is this uh, 4x4, a stickerless 4x4. So, another, provided instructions just in case or something, um, but I already know how to help with 4x4, so I mean, I'm just, the only thing that I don't know how to solve is these to flip. Um, to flip these and to get flip these two and to do the corner switcher and the yeah so all of that but those are pretty uh, tough to uh, but maybe but in, in the future I'll uh, try to learn it and try to memorize all that but for the most part I already know how to solve the the centers and the um, and how to pair up the edges and everything like that just uh, I already know how to do that so but just to show you how, how it functions, just um, uh, yeah, so that's that. So let's see. Oh, you can't really do the you, you can't really do the um, or can you? I don't know. I was going to do the checkerboard pattern here, but I guess it's a different. Uh, way here <laughs> it's a little bit of a different way to do I'm not really sure how yet but <laughs> um, but yeah um, maybe in this way um, but yeah <laughs> that would be a checkerboard pattern and for the last two mystery puzzles are these um, they're pretty much similar um, this is a uh, windmill cubes um, yeah so um, this is a colored windmill cube this is a mirror cube a mirror uh, windmill cube so let's get to the color first uh, so this is a color so this is pretty much what it, how it functions Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick checkerboard pattern here. So yeah, that this. Oh, forgot one more thing. Oops. <laughs> yeah, it kind of slides off on me here. Like so, and this would be a checkerboard pattern. So yeah. There you go. And now let's move on to this one here. This is a mirror um windmill mirror cube. This is what it looks like. Uh, they're pretty much the same, just uh yeah just it's just the size difference and the colors as well just because uh, uh, it's a mirror cube <laughs> so um yeah so this this is what uh let's see if i can do i, I can't do a checkerboard pattern here right <laughs> um but i can do Oh, something like that. So yeah, there it is. Hmm. 
So yeah, and these were all of my mystery puzzles from the cubicle. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.